Welcome to 10 Minute Transformations. My name is Janet, and today's quickie little 10 minute transformation is about Warrior One Yoga Posture. Warrior One Yoga Posture can be really challenging to our balance and our flexibility. So in order to get into the practice, we're going to warm up the body a little bit first, and then I'll teach you Warrior One Pose. So step to the top of your mat and let's do some sun salutations to warm up the body. Sun salutations are often done to greet the day. So say welcome to today and welcome to Free Yoga Club. I'm glad you're here with me. Let's breathe into extended mountain with your arms overhead, your palms turn in, your shoulders relax down. In Warrior One, your upper body is in the same shape. If you find your shoulders are really tight, your arms might be out a little bit wider, that's okay, but be sure you're not scrunching up in the shoulders. You're gonna need a little back bend here, so as you exhale, open into a gentle backward bend. Lift your gaze and bend back. And again, it's okay to separate your arms as much as you need to. Breathe in, come back up to mountain, and as you exhale, bow forward. I like to bend the knees in forward folds. It's easier for your back, and that's an area where many of us have some struggles. So ease into that forward fold stretch. My feet are together. It's okay to have your feet separated, but you want to look at your feet and keep them parallel to the outer edges of your yoga mat. From this forward fold, breathe in and find halfway lift as you draw up. You can really feel the musculature of your back engaged. Again, it's okay to bend the knees. If it's hard to make your back flat, then you might need to bend your knees a little bit more. Your hands can rest some people on the back, most people on the shins, knees, or even the thighs. Breathe slow and deep through your nose. And as you exhale, plant your palms and step back to, to, to high plank, the top of a push-up. So you have three options. You can push up and back to down dog. That's the easiest option. Slightly more challenging is to come to the knees to do a modified push up. You tuck your tail under, shift forward, and lower to the belly. If that's your choice today, you're going to lift to low cobra. Those of you that are feeling really strong, you might take that high plank through a full chaturanga push up, a yoga push up by shifting forward, lowering halfway with your elbows in tight. Lift to up dog by turning the feet over. Keep your knees and thighs off the mat. Your heart shines forward, your gaze is forward. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo. So this is our first down dog. Let's enjoy it. Stretch out your hamstrings, pedal out your legs. We're stretching out the body, warming up for a challenging posture. Our key pose, warrior one. From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Let's flow one breath to one movement. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise to mountain. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Either way to down dog, come to the knees, or shift forward, lower halfway. Breathe in upward facing dog. Breathe out downward facing dog. Really push your heart back towards your thighs. Keep your fingers spread wide on the mat. Your head hangs heavy between your arms. It's not important that your heels touch the mat. Eventually they may. What's more important is you really create that letter V shape with your body. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, come all the way up. One more round, exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step to plank. Otter off the knees or weighted down dog. Shift forward, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stretching it out, let's pedal it out. Bend one knee and then the other. Pushing the straight leg heel down toward the mat. Excellent. Okay, here we go. From downward facing dog, breathe in and extend your right leg up. This is called three-legged dog. And as you exhale, pull the right knee through, bending it and place your right foot between your palms. You might need to pull your right foot forward. Then drop your head, look at the left foot and push your left heel down your left toes point out, kind of toward the upper left corner of your mat. Rise up, keeping a bend in the front knee and the back leg straight. Take your hands to your hip bones, pull 
bring your right hip back and your left hip forward. Lunge deep into the front knee, trying to align your right knee over your right ankle. It wants to wobble side to side. It may want to be straight, and it might. That's not good, but you might go beyond. We don't want this if it's too much strain on the knee. So as you square your hips and lunge into the front, knee, the back heel wants to lift from where on the back heel stays down. Here we go, full pose. Mountain arms, arms reach high, shoulders relax down. Pull the right hip back, right, left hip forward, right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. That's warrior one. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out, place your hands on the mat. Step back to down dog or flow through high to low plank on or off your knees. Inhale, lift you to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, here we go. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. It's okay if the right heel lifts, getting that left leg up. As you breathe out, pull it through tummy tight and place your left foot between your palms or pull it forward with the left hand. Look down and back at the right foot, push your right heel flat on the mat. Your toes are turned in at about 45 degree angle, so it looks like the right toes point to the upper right corner of your mat. Once you're ready, rise up. Here we go with alignment, fingers to the hips, left hip back, right hip forward. Lunge into the left knee, try to align it over the left ankle. Take a gaze back, keep your right heel flat. Try to square your hips as best you can. Now that you're ready for that, arms are overhead. Warrior one, shoulders relax, gaze forward. Keep breathing in and out of your nose. Nice and slow, feel strong. Warrior one, posture. Take another big breath in. Exhale, your hands return to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog or flow through high to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really good. From downward facing dog, let's go through this a couple more times, moving a little more swiftly. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Breathe in, step back to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Second side, here we go. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Breathe in, step back to plank. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, that's intense. Take a few breaths here. You ready for it? One more time. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale. Warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Breathe in, step back. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. The mat, breathe in, step it back, exhale, high low plank, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, let's come into hero pose by coming to the knees, sitting back on your heels, sitting up tall. Awesome job. Warrior One is a very challenging yoga pose. Thanks for joining me for a quick little 10 minute tutorial on how to do Warrior One pose, and then we brought it into a flow. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a lesson about Warrior One posture, and there might be some postures that you're wondering about. So if you would leave me a comment, what would you like to have me break down for you? What posture is challenging you that you want to know about? Thanks for leaving some comments for me. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not already a subscriber, push that little red button. I appreciate you sharing our channel with your friends and your family as well. Namaste.